Joining us right now is somebody participating, uh, Congressman Adam Schiff on the phone right now. Congressman, good morning to you. Are you sitting on the floor? Where are you now? Uh, well, no, we don't have phones on the floor, but uh, I'm heading back after this call. Uh, it's been a long day. Uh, I think I spent uh, probably about 16 hours uh, on the floor last night. I uh, got a bit of rest and uh, recharge and ready to head back. Uh, we're uh, doing all we can to at least compel a vote on these issues. Uh, I think the speaker is right. We can't compel the outcome of that vote, but we ought to have some accountability. Uh, they shouldn't be able to hide, uh, particularly on issues that are such great significance, uh, and where you know an overwhelming majority of Americans support making sure that people that are uh, terrorism suspects and too dangerous to fly uh, can't simply go into a gun store or, or congressman, uh, and, and buy a weapon. Congressman, let me cut through. Thing. You're right, 80% of Americans want some sort of control on this, especially the no-fly list, the t potential terrorists. I think if you pulled every member of Congress aside, they would agree. So why can't they come around on a vote? Well, uh, because uh, even though there are probably a significant number of Republicans that would agree privately, uh, publicly they're not willing to confront the NRA. Uh, they run in fear of getting anything less than an A on the NRA scorecard, quite literally. Uh, because they think it will drum up a primary opponent uh, and that they will be a at uh, risk. Uh, and so they don't want to take the vote. Uh, and that's why it doesn't happen. Now, uh, many of them are speaking out and saying that, in fact, they do oppose this measure that's supported by 80 or 90 percent of the public. Uh, but the vast majority, uh, I think, are just uh, running scared of the NRA. And this is a way the Speaker can protect those members from having to cast a difficult vote. And that is just, uh, after the most recent gun tragedy, uh, increasingly unacceptable to the, the vast uh, American people. Well, this is unprecedented, and it's been fascinating to watch because we were able to see it on Periscope and on Twitter. Um, Congressman Lewis was saying that this is reminiscent of the 60s and the civil rights era and activism. Do you get a sense of that when you're there on the floor? I do, and you know, particularly when this is led by John Lewis. Uh, I, about 10 years ago, I went down to Selma with John. Uh, he leads a pilgrimage, civil rights pilgrimage, and they do a reenactment of the walk across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Uh, and it was really a, a thrill to participate in something like that with John and with some of the other civil rights leaders of that era. Uh, but now to join him on the House floor, to have him lead us. Uh, and for John, you know, this is not uh, only about the mass shootings that have unfortunately become such a prominent feature of American life, but it's about the, the shootings every day in every city in America, all the young lives that are cut down. Uh, and I think John really feels this is one of the civil rights issues of our day, and I think he's right about that. So when uh, Speaker Ryan says, come on, this is just a PR stunt, what do you say? Uh, this is an effort to get a vote. Uh, you know, I think the dysfunction uh, is not having to do a sit-in on the House floor. The dysfunction is having a speaker and having a leadership that's unwilling to schedule votes on even basic things the American people want. Uh, and uh, I think what the speaker was really objecting to last night is we kind of tore the veneer off that uh, and exposed that the Republicans aren't willing to put their votes where their mouth is. Uh, they'd lack the courage to take these issues up and, and vote them down if that's where they stand. Congressman and that, Adam, I think, is what has really bothered them. Congressman Adam Schiff, as always, thank you for your time. You're back to the floor. We appreciate and it. And happy birthday to you, you, by the way. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. you. Celebrate your birthday on the floor. Yeah. Yeah.